All right, hello everyone. Um, this is going to be slightly different than some of the other games I've played. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Wordle, or at least familiar with the concept of Wordle at this point. It's the word game that swept the internet over the latter part of 2021 and has since been bought up by the New York Times. Um, good job for the person who managed to sell that game. They got a pretty penny for it. Um, and there are a bunch of different uh, variations on Wordle, which I should say is you have a certain number of guesses to guess a five-letter word. Th that's about it. And then you can share your results with friends, uh, but share them just color-coded based on the letters you have wrong or right, which makes it a fun, almost social game, as well as your own little word solitaire. Um, there are many different versions of it, uh, depending on the types of words that people use. There's also a math version of the game, and that I personally love. I also like the Pokemon version of the game. Uh, but what I'm going to show off today is a version of Wordle called Quartle, or Quartle, whatever you want to pronounce it, because uh, there are four that you are solving at once. Uh, so what I'm showing off right here is um, today's Quirtle, um, which I have already solved. Or this is, so, <laughs> I guess, yeah, I'll, I won't be posting this the day I record it just for the sake of not spoiling anyone. Um, and this game actually worked out largely in my favor. Um, so there are the four games going at once in each kind of quadrant of this screen here. And you'll notice that uh, three of the four words all start with the same letter on this particular case. So it worked out very nicely for me. Um, and I have two separate strategies uh, that I'd like to show off in this video. One of which is my default strategy that I've been using almost entirely as I play. And one is a strategy that I just thought up yesterday and haven't tested yet. So we'll see how that one goes. Uh, but so for this first strategy that I have is uh, a strategy where I'm trying to get as many letters as I can covered in the first few guesses. Uh, so ideally, since all these are five letter words, you can in theory hit 15 letters in your first three guesses or even 20 letters in your first four guesses. Now, unfortunately, this means you are never going to win in four moves, which is theoretically possible with Quartal. Um, highly unlikely, highly unlikely that you can guess all four of the words cold, um, with no other information. I guess each word you guess can give you more information than the others, but you know what I mean. Uh, so most of the time when I play Quartal, um, what happens is I'll do three or four guesses and then start solving after that. Um, and since there are four words you have to solve... That means usually the smallest amount of guesses that I get on this game is seven. Um, and you can see eight and ten with some losses uh, through the games that I've played. Uh, so I would honestly say Quirtle is a lot harder than Wordle is just for that. It's Most people can go through with a win percentage on Wordle in the upper 90%. And I think I, what was mine here? Someone in the mid-80s? Low 80s, yeah. Um, so my word quartal percentage is noticeably lower than my wordle percentage is. And I think that's just typical. And of course, the distribution of guesses is also t more typical, where you're probably going to get it in eight or nine guesses instead of seven. While with wordle, you have a total of six you can use, but getting it in three or four is typical. Um, so yeah, this game shows off my kind of spread strategy, trying to get as many letters as I can. Um, so the way to do that is you're trying to find three or four words that do not repeat any letters at all between them. Um, so my general strategy is you can see the first three words that I guess are fight, lance, and sword. And I like this trio because it kind of has its own theme to it, as well as hitting 15 completely unique letters. Um, you may ask why I use sword and not like words. Of course, words does not fit the theme. And also, it puts the S in front. And <laughs> this particular game aside, the first position is not very common for S. You're actually much more commonly going to have S in some of the last two positions as opposed to the first position, uh, just because of plural words. Um, so it actually gives you positional information 
as well as uh, well, it gives you potentially more positional information than guess putting a word with S at the end. Um, and then my last, uh, so those are my three guesses to hit me to 15. If I want to get to 20 letters with a fourth guess, I will either use bumpy or jumpy. Um, because that hits both of the last two vowels that the first three words don't hit, and three other consonants that haven't been hit before. I'll usually end up guessing bumpy instead of jumpy because B is a more common letter than J. Um, but that's just me. Uh, sometimes if I've already solved some other words, I might have already hit the B. So then I'll have to guess jumpy instead to get the J in there. Um, and this strategy, again, usually gets me pretty well. Again, my win percentage is a little bit above 80% with this strategy. Um, and the one thing that I've learned, especially having played this a lot at this point, um, and by a lot here, we'll go over to the practice sessions. Um, when I say a lot, I've played over 250 practice games here, and I actually have a higher win percentage. So the, the dailies have gotten me a little bit more than the practices have. Um, and one thing I've learned, particularly doing these practices, you have to really get used to knowing when to guess double letters. Because if you've got this spread move that I like to do, where you're hitting 15 or 20 letters in your first three or four guesses, if a particular board, I have these four different boards in each quarrel, if a particular board uh, doesn't have five letters highlighted already, chances are it's going to have double letters. Because some of these rarer ones, like these, are uncommon now some v of the uncommon letters i think v is the most common um but you also get some w's thrown in my my typical guess is also don't hit k which is interesting um so sometimes i have to be conscious of that um but that's the general idea behind my first strategy um and we'll get into my second strategy later in the video so that i can keep everything kind of not in two nice blocks here but uh, let's play a few practice games, and I'll try to talk my way through each game so you can see my logic as we're, as we're playing. But sometimes my fingers work faster than my mouth does, so I might my brain might be sending the guesses through before I can explain them. But let's start this off. So again, my main strategy is I have my first three words I love to guess to get a nice spread of letters. And at this point, you can see one of my words already has five highlights on it. So that's the thing I'm going to hit next, and hopefully solving this word can give me information about the others. So you can see that, you know, this fourth board has an S, this second board has a C. So getting the first board correct will probably give me info, the second board correct will probably give me more information about the third and fourth boards. Um, so S is not, uh, let's see. Uh, so the, the, right now I have to guess whether C or T is the first one, and I think I found the word um because i do believe yeah castes are a thing in india uh i think they're basically social groups and let's see so we've moved the c and the s and both of these still haven't found the correct placements of them uh, of those two lever of those two letters um right, so which one can i solve either of these yet this one already has a correct um so i kind of want to go with that one and if C is not in the first, it's either N or some completely other letter, a completely new letter. Um, so if I put N first and O maybe in the fourth, um, actually, I don't know about that. But, oh, no, here we go. I haven't used B yet. Oh, tasty, tasty. All right, and now we've also gotten a little bit more information about this, but the O and the N haven't moved as, around as well. Um, so we've got four letters, and three of them have been used twice, none of them in the correct positions. Uh, I honestly don't know. I could try to solve this a little bit more, but I'm going to go with the last option of my strategy here. I've already used B, so this is an option. Oh, okay, now we get a new letter there. No new information up top, so we're definitely hitting... Oh, actually, I think I know what this one was already, with the D, I, and O. Oh, it's not right. Damn it. Okay. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, that was a dumb guess. Yeah, because I already had the I and the O in those positions. Okay. Um, so that was actually... The D was correctly placed, but now that was... Yeah, that was dumb of me to guess that. 
Let's go back to the fourth board here, see if we can solve it now. Um, oh, that one's pretty clear. All right, and now, okay, now we have information about the I. Um, so the O has to go in the front, and I think there's, okay, new rarer letter should solve it. There we go. All right, and yeah, that's the basic thought process I have for the Quirtles. We'll play a couple more, and again, I'll try talking through everything as I go. But I'm going to try being a little quicker here just because I love being quick. All right, top has a thing. Uh, oh, not glance. There's no uh, E in there. I don't have to say glance, but that wouldn't work. Uh, okay, the A is the only vowel in that one, so it probably has to go in the second or maybe... Oh, here we are. Yeah, second one. Playing. All right. Uh, down here, we've got three letters correct. Um, and that, okay, so this is nothing about quarrel. It'll tell you if something isn't a word. Um, well, I haven't used a Y yet. I haven't used U. Oh, that is okay. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'm just trying to think stuff and plop things in there. Um, that, that is a word, because clue is a verb in addition to being a noun. Um, I see that that's a weird thing you have to think about, is some of these odd little modifiers. One of the weirdest words I've come across over the past few days is there's a word called idle, but not I-D-L-E, I-D-Y-L-L, -L, which is apparently the noun version of idyllic. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, so these other boards here, I don't have a good guess for. So try to get some more letters in. All right, that didn't help a ton. We have a Y in the other one now, and I still don't have a good grasp. Uh, oh, no, hang on, I know now. Uh, let's move the R to the front. So what my thought process there is I was tempted, if I'm still clueless after using all four of my normal words, I'll sometimes guess the word jokes or joker to hit the J and the K, which haven't been guessed yet. Um, but as I was thinking about the K, Rocky popped into my head. Um, now, though, we've got this other thing here. R is not first. Um, I guess I could put the W first. So we're going to... I'm thinking it's going to be double letters because I can't imagine Z, X, or V in there. Q doesn't even fit at all because there's no U. And I don't think a J could fit in there either. So I think either W or one of the vowels has to go first. Uh, oh, yes, and the vowel going first with, I think, A and the R goes there because it's the only one. And then, boom, yes. All right, moving on. I'll play a few more games with my first strategy here, and then we'll go in to look at the second one. Uh, all right. There, so I was trying to think why would, if that one I was kind of hesitant on because I was trying to put an O in the second position, and couldn't think of any other constant to go up front. But then I moved it in my mind and it made sense. Uh, doesn't help a lot because U doesn't give me anything else. Oh, this top one. I'm guessing some double letters in there for that. Yes. All right. Uh, so top one. We've got R, A, L, and E. Um, so I could put the R in front. I don't think it takes proper names. Uh, but maybe. Nope. <laughs> it does not do that. Um, but it does give me that guess. I'm not sad about that guess because we now have new information on E and L and R. So that's worked out pretty nicely. Um, I, I, there must be another consonant in here that I'm missing. Uh, so I'm... I'm guessing R has to be at the end of word. Well, no, no. Oh, we don't have a Y in here yet. Um, oh, but I'm not sure the Y would help. So I'm trying to think, yeah. I, what would go in the nice ending spot? Oh, um, wait a minute. 
that. If we got... Uh, no, no, I can't put... Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. There we are. There we are. All right. Um, I guess let's go two more games of this one now. Anything... Okay. Third board. We can do this one. Nice. Um... This top board is interesting. I'm going to bank on some double letters with the E's. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, and yeah, this is the second guess was bad because the D was doubled. Damn it. Um, all right. So now I am low on guesses. Uh, and I don't have a ton of information because of that wasted guess. So I'm going to do this. All right. That gives me some extra information. Uh, all right. Top one. There we go. Put the V in there. All right. We need an S in the other one. And that actually that works out perfectly. Uh, and again, with putting the S in, I knew I had to move the vowels around somehow. So if I just put the S in the center... The O and the I flip made perfect sense. One more game of this one, this strategy. Uh, all right, we've got both of these boards have a complete five already. Um, yep, and this one. Uh, actually, yeah, this one I'm being slower on. Is that? Okay, Quirtle's accepting that. Will that work? That? Okay. I can see how that's a word, but I've like almost never come across that in common parlance. Um, okay. Thankfully, some of that solving helped with this. So we've got L space RC space. H has to go somewhere to the end. We haven't used a U yet. Awesome. And so now this one uses a U. Uh... But not in that position. Not in that position. Oh. Double use. Okay, interesting. All right. Yeah, so starting to realize when double letters helps really helps with this game. Um, especially if you've done my strategy of kind of exhausting letters. Now, the other strategy that I've thought of for this game, which I haven't tested yet at all, and we're doing this right now, is I know one of the strategies with Wordle itself is uh, sort of similar, but a little bit more um, sort of similar to my spread, trying to get 15 or 20 letters in the first three or four guesses, but going a little bit more word building focused. Because um, I know one of the strategies for Wordle is to guess a word like adieu um, right off the bat, which adieu is French, but it was it's accepted by Wordle because it's common enough that a lot of English speakers will recognize it. Um, and that adieu works really well because it has so many vowels in just one word. So basically you're knocking out all the vowels or most of the vowels in one guess. Um, and the nice thing with adieu, it doesn't have U or Y. Um, so in theory, I could use my bumpy or my jumpy again, uh, but I have a different idea um, because if you want to hit, you know, all your vowels and then the most common consonants, a good guess to hit U and Y is instead rusty because that gives you R, S, and T, which I think are the three most common consonants. Um, I know those are the, you know the three ones you always hear when you hear the what's the con wheel of fortune thing, the, the things they give you for the final guesses. Um, but so we're going to try this out. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I'm dumb. A U has a U, not an O. Uh, so I have to actually re recalibrate what I want. So if I want to get O R O S R, uh, if I want to get R S T O and Y, can I get all of those 
in a single word. All right, I'm, I'm backing up for a moment here. Uh, R, S, T, O, and Y. Do we have... Oh, yeah, I'm so dumb. <laughs> Um, we do have a word that'll hit all of those. Okay. And so now in theory, you can start trying to piece things together based on what you're seeing. Uh, my best guess right now is up on the first board. Uh, it looks like very close to story, but it just needs their last letter. Uh, it's not store, uh, cause it doesn't have an E. So I'm going to guess storm. And that's not right either. Uh, store. There we are. All right. So now I've you. So I've wasted one guess. I haven't, I haven't wasted a guess. I was going to say storm didn't help me too much, but it did eliminate M. Um, and so now I have to start thinking about how these other words are going to work out. Um, so what can I do in this fourth board here? The question is, it has to include a U, so the U will either be in the second or the fourth position. Um, and I don't think I know any words that start S-U-I, except for like suits, and we already know it doesn't have a T. Uh, and is there anything else S-U-I? I don't see any of the other consonants that'll help me here. So I think it's S something, I U something. And I, you know what? I don't know if that'll give me anything either. Um, I'm gonna check something here. So one thing with Quirtle, unlike with Wordle is I'm not ashamed of getting a little bit of help every now and again with uh, Quirtle. Um, that, uh, okay. I don't like that. But let's see this other option. If I put the U in the fourth position. Oh no, that, that's actually impossible. Um, so a couple of options here. I think the most common of these words, if I haven't used already, yeah. Um, so again, verb forms. All right. Uh, but that doesn't help me much because it didn't move the I here and it and then the G still didn't appear anywhere else. All right, I'm already not liking this strategy, partially because it's, I think this is better for Wordle when you only have one board, um, as opposed to uh, the Quirtle here, we've got four boards. So every single guess in Wordle helps you as you're moving along, but in Quirtle, sometimes your guesses don't help the other boards. Um, So, I want to, um, I want to, will it accept us? Getting me more, oh, it doesn't let me do that. I was trying to hit the L, um, oh, actually I've already eliminated K, so that wouldn't have helped me anyway. But I wanted to move the D and then also move the A, because that would help both word, both boards that I'm looking at. And actually, I wonder, I can just, I, I can keep looking on this part. Um, what other words can I make? I'm going to just ignore the fact that the E is there. Um, can I make anything with the other letters that I have here with the DA beginning? I'm sure I can, and I'm just being dumb right now. Uh, could do that. It's probably not going to give me much, but the D and the A will give me more information. All right, interesting. Um, oh, that's so close. 
Um, all right, what extra letter can I just put in the middle? Not a W, not an H, not a J. I can put the B in. I don't think I can put the V or the C. Okay, it's got, I think it has to be the B. Okay, yes. Um, and actually, Daffy helped me more than I thought because I put the F in this other word. Um... Put the F in the other one. I think the F has to go first. This is not going to be a word, I'm sure. Nope. Um. Oh, like a cat. No! Oh, oh, I'm dumb. Well, actually, I'm not dumb. That guess was still completely valid against the board that I had. Um, I think it was, yeah, because the E hadn't been eliminated there, the L not, but yeah, so that was a completely valid guess that I had. Uh, all right, well, we're going to try this a couple more times. I think my original strategy is better, but I, again, I thought of this yesterday when I thought of the concept to do this video, and I just wanted to test it out. So, adieu and story. Oh, all right. So we've got some. This this board looks a little bit more favorable. Um, actually, so hang on. There are probably a lot of options here because I could put, I could put the L, I could put the N, I could put the V. I think those are the options. L, N, and V. Can I put all of those in a word as an eliminator option? L, N, and V. Well, let's just try to think of something else. Um, actually, let's not. I'm going to solve that one right away on the fourth board. Um, and it gave me an F up here. That's nice to see. Um, but all right, all right, all right. So we've got a T and an R. So T, R, S, U, L, N, V. Those are what I'm trying to mess around with. Or the A. I can move, mess around with the A as well. Um, I could guess vowel, but that doesn't help me with the O at all. Um, oh, hang on. Novel. Oh, interesting. All right, so... Oh, so what, about, what does that help me with the second board, then? If it's not... It's not stove, it's not stone, it's not stole. Wow, okay, what is the top one then? S-T-O-G-E-H-H-E. Oh, hang on. Like stoking a fire? Yes, okay. Uh, that doesn't help me with the other two. All right, so I need to help myself somehow. Although, oh, hang on, no, I take that back. Fiery did help up here. So actually, if we're stoking a fire, let's try to snuff a fire. It's fiery, okay, okay. There's a theme on this board here. Uh, is this last word gonna... No, probably not. I'm gonna double letter up on the R. It doesn't help. There we go. Interesting, okay. So that one went better. That one went better. Um, see, the one thing, so, you'll notice they do tell you how many guesses you took to each solve each thing. I would love for the statistics to not just say how long it takes you to solve the thing, but to also give you a breakdown of when you solve each of the individual four. Um, it's like it gives you a count, um, you know, not only one through nine of which options are you hitting words on, but then also an X for any time you're missing words. Um, or maybe an average guess count for the words as well, because like the average of these is actually lower than it is normally, because normally I'll have like a four or a seven or a nine in here. So actually having three, five, six is pretty good. Um, hitting fiery right off the bat there was very fun. Um, all right, let's do another. 
And that one, oh, we actually have hit all five letters on the third board already, which is very interesting. And I can already see, yep, audit. All right. Um, let's just double up on letters here. Okay, it didn't do much, that's okay. I'm not fully surprised, but it did help on the other boards. Um, so what other consonants can we put back here? So there's no R in here, so we can't put something like Stark. Um, not Stash, because there's no second S. Um, oh, and I also shouldn't, I shouldn't limit myself to thinking of just consonants, because I could put an A on the fifth uh, letter as, as well. Um, I don't think there's an A on the fifth one. Yeah, just running through the consonants that I have available, that doesn't work. Um, so I have to put two consonants. Oh, wait a minute. Is this? No, good. <laughs> um, at least now I've eliminated two more consonants. Um, what other consonants? Oh. Uh, there we are. And we've got an L up on this one as well. So we've got a T in this spot with E, U, and L. Um... Huzzah! <laughs> All right, so I've got two guesses to solve this guy over here. We don't have near as much information as I would like on this. Um, the U has to be either in the first or the fourth something. Um, and I'm guessing the I is in the second location. So I'm wondering if, uh, blah, blah, blah. if I just look at the letters I have available... Um. Oh. Ah, I can spell. Huzzah! Okay, yeah. I can see if you're really good with throwing consonants around and you're not worried about double letter stuff popping up, this actually isn't a bad strategy. Um, and again, it worked out relatively well on this one. Uh... Oh, and we've got this set up again, S-T-O blank E. All right, let's guess novel again. And if it's not novel, we should know it's a K. Okay. There you go. Um, ooh, what's this guy over here? N's in K-Y also has an R and a U. Also has an R and a U. Ah, uh, so, okay, if it's an R, if it's U-R-K-Y. No. Yo, actually, yes. There we go. All right, now we really are in some territory that I'm not comfortable with. We've got a U in the second position here and just an N to work with. And over here, we've got just a K, L, and an I. Um, well, hang on, let's try some new positions out. Those three letters, N, K, and I, or N, K, and L, let's move them around a bit. Doesn't help a ton. All right. Um, does not help a ton. This word, I is literally the only vowel in it. Um, I wonder. Because with a K, a common partner to K is C. So I wonder if it ends in I-C-K. It ends in P-L-I-C-A. That's probably not something. No. Pluck is a word. Plick is not. Oh, but flick is a word. Oh, there we go. And we have a... C in here, N is not present at the first or the last, so we've got UNC. C is often followed by H, so it's a UNCH. Um, we can do hunch, punch, or bunch. Oh, okay. 
We have to... If I'm just guessing those sequentially, I could lose. I need to do a word that has at least two of those in it already. Uh, well, actually... I need to do a word that has B and P in it, because if an... Well, almost certain H is at the last letter. So whether I guess punch or bunch... It still doesn't eliminate the other two. So I need to guess a word that has both of those in it. Um, and actually, if it has the H in it as well, uh, that'd be great. But I don't think I can do that. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. So let's just get a word that has B and P in it with a U in the right place. Let's go with bumpy. And there's a B. There we go. Awesome. So now we've got bunch. Huzzah! All right. All right, so yeah, I just took a little bit of finagling to try to get the strategy to work. Um, and this is not helping out because we only have a single green on everything we're seeing here. Um, what is this? What is that? I honestly have no clue. All right, so what vowels? We've got A and I are multiples here. So let's try to use a word in A and I and some other consonants. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Interesting. Okay. And actually, that helps out a lot because now we have all five letters here plus one in the correct position. And the M appeared in these two. The C also appeared down here. Um, all right. So, again, let's try to solve this. Top side. Uh, wow. What is that? Oh. Really? <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, I think I have a guess for this lower one now as well. If I just throw an H in there. Because this is an odd combination of letters. I can't imagine something else. Yeah. Uh, H does not help me anywhere else. We do get information about the A. Um, I'm guessing M, O, something. Is that it? Yes, it is. Okay. Now again, back to this word, and I have no clue what to do with this at the top of my head. There's only a single I in here. Um, doesn't have a C or the H, so we can't depend on that two-letter combo. Uh, R and... Oh! Oh, I'm close. Uh, B R I N. What are the, I guess the G is the only one left I can do. There we go. Ha ha. And I have lost track of how many games I've played with each strategy. We'll just do one more and then call it a night because it's getting quite late. I don't know if OBS is actually picking up on my screen dimming or not, <laughs> uh, but it might be. Ooh, okay. This is an interesting combo to start off with. Um, I'm guessing the E is not going in the second position here, so it should be in the fifth, which means the D goes into the fourth. So A something O D E. Um, so uh, I guess abode I think is the only word that fits that. Apparently not. Uh, a not code, a wood, a pod, a load, code, a jode, a hode, a goad, a fode, a zode, axode, a code, a vode, a node, a mode, a node, is that? Anode, okay, yeah. Oh, uh, well, the N pops up over here, so that's nice. Uh... O, U, and O. What is this? Uh, I'm going to move over here for a moment. 
A hot toddy. Oh, that is it. Okay, awesome. And the dubs. Oh, it actually gives me more information. Awesome. Um. Oh, please don't be this. Please don't be this. Okay, thank you for not being that. Um. We are starting to run low on guesses. Need to be efficient here. Um. Think okay, that is recognizing as a word. That's not right. Ooh, maybe that. Yes, and now we are largely screwed. Um, all right. Well, maybe not. We can try to figure this out. Can try to figure this out. I'm guessing. I'm guessing the O has to go in front here. But I'm trying to. There's no way there's a Q in here, is there? Let me just move things. Oh, yeah, there's no, because the O can't be in the third position. So it can't be. That, that ain't anything. All right, so I think we can safely eliminate Q from contention here. Unless it's like this, which is also not a word. Um. Because I don't think it would end in an end something. Yeah, N U something O E, N U. Yeah, N U does not make sense. So if we put the O here, well, okay, the N could still go in the. S Third position, so something U N O E. U N O E for the gun. If this was an A, C A N O E would work, but it's a U, not an A. Um, so yeah, I think the O has to go in the first position. Um. Now here's the thing, OU is an off is a common diphthong. Uh, but I can't see how that would help us here either. Um Oh yes, actually no, I can see it. I can see it. Oh there we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's rough. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to call it a night there. That took a lot of finagling and just kind of test typing things out. Oh, see, that's just weird. Yeah, so actually thinking about common diphthongs or just common two-letter combinations can really help uh, with this game. Uh, you, you heard me talking about things like CH and CK and, you know, other stuff like that earlier. What are some other common to oh th obviously um another good thing um yeah so lots of little tips and tricks if you're trying to play through Quirtle. i guess i think the only one i lost on video today was the very first one i did with this strategy um i still think i prefer my other one i feel like i have more control over the game when i've hit 15 or 20 letters in the first three or four guesses because, uh, again, it's like, even with this strategy, you're probably not going to solve anything until your third guess. Uh, with my other previous strategy, it was your fourth or sometimes your fifth guess before you solved anything. And that, even if you solve something on your third guess and then hit the next three completely, you're, you're at best hitting six guesses 
for your statistics overall. Because again, I wish they broke this down. That'd be so much more fun if they broke it down. Oh, so I've played... I've played 11 games on camera right now. Um, okay, yeah. I think that probably was like a 5 plus 6... Or six plus five. So in case it's already a five plus six, I don't want to imbalance it as five plus seven. We'll leave it there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little look into a nice fun word game and my thought process behind it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you're a nerdy like me, but I hope you enjoy it. I will see you all later. Bye.